Well, hello everyone. So um, in this video, I just want to do a quick follow up on the Fitbit Ionic video that I did a very impromptu one a few days ago after I learned about the big recall from Google that's offering all the Fitbit Ionic owners a $300 credit as well as 40% off on all their most current Fitbit products. So we went ahead, um, we ordered um, two Fitbit since which is their newest, most advanced Fitbit device that they offer. So the Sense compared to the Versa 3 that my wife previously had, which we shipped back for warranty service due to battery overheating, quite ironically. Um, so we haven't got the Fitbit Versa 3 back yet. Uh, however, we got the recall and we got the Fitbit Sense. So we're just gonna, at this point on, start using the Sense um, since again, it's the most advanced one. It offers a uh, ECG capability to measure your heart rhythms. Um, I guess it could be um, become useful in terms of uh, uh, medical monitoring um, in the future advance of the science or the medical field, but it's not quite useful for everyday use. Uh, regardless, uh, it's got the ECG feature. Um, also, this one, uh, very good sleep tracking capability. So since we already have the Versa 3, uh, we already know what we expect from those devices. But I just want to actually open up the package um, and take a look for you guys that always had the Fitbit Ionic and never um, owned uh, the, the newest Fitbit device. Um, want to show you guys what you would expect from the newest one. I guess I don't really need the knife because uh, this one you can just uh, pretty much unpeel and then I think everything opens and you can pull it out like so. Same with this one. So uh, we got two like different colors. Uh, one for me, one for my wife. My wife's um, color is like the gold with the white band. Uh, mine is kind of like grayish with a dark stainless steel um, body. But um, in a sense, they are exactly the same. Uh, just straps are different. Oh, by the way, uh, I mentioned that we ordered five different straps. Well, two cam, or I, I, I mean three of those straps cam. Um, there's still two missing. So uh, the other two, they actually shipped in a different packaging. Um, so we have to wait for those extra bands to arrive tomorrow. But that's kind of odd that they didn't ship all at the same time. And we also haven't got um, our uh, return uh, package to for us to return the Fitbit Ionic. Regardless, um, it's gonna come anytime so we can get our refund eventually once we return those devices. But opening up the package, that's that's pretty much everything in here. You got your watch, which is pretty nice, and you got your extra large bands over here, which kind of moves in a funny way. Um, I think they hide some of the they hide the instructional manual at the back of the strap. Uh, but this is what you're gonna get. The charger is right here. So uh, I'm gonna move my camera and just put it on the desk and then we can just take a quick look on um, what's inside the box and then we'll end the video there because um, those devices have been out for quite a while and I'm pretty sure plenty of other people has done a very in-depth uh, review of those devices for you. So we don't really need to go into detail on those devices. All right, guys, so um, we got those devices and uh, I'm just gonna take one of those device out. Let me take mine out and I'm gonna save this for my wife. Um, all right, so you got your charger in here, which is pretty weirdly packed. I think you can pull this out, yeah. Um, and you got your strap, large strap is here. Again, we don't use the large strap, but interesting thing is now, when it comes to straps, they only provide you with one single-ended strap. In the Ionic, when they provide the large strap, they actually give you both straps, the upper one and the bottom one. But now, it looks like they just give you a bottom one. Uh, I don't know if they are trying to do this to prevent you from reselling the large strap. Um, yeah, probably that's the reason, but that's pretty much it. Uh, nothing else is in here. So we're gonna save those straps here product information this is probably just like warranty stuff again we don't really need those we just need to um take the ionic out i mean i'm sorry take the new sense out and take a look 
And obviously, to use this, uh, you would have to actually download the Fitbit app. And I would not be able to show you guys because uh, I'm using my phone to actually record this. <laughs> so um, again, this is just a quick overview of what you're gonna expect to get in the box of the Fitbit Sense uh, when you turn um, your Ionic away, okay? And the difference is, uh, is quite obvious. Like now for me personally, I don't really like the shape of the Sense because this is a little too feminine for me. Uh, I really loved the bold design, the bold looking design of the Fitbit Ionic. And I kind of wished they actually made, you know, two different versions of the Sense, one for the guys and one for the ladies, but obviously they didn't. Um, so this is what it looks like. And again, this is kind of a dark uh, brushed, not brushed, but stainless steel um, case uh, with a glass surface, I believe. And on the back, and they also changed the strap design. So now the strap is kind of, um, I guess the strap now is more comfortable because you have this, this thing like facing outside now and while you put this in here, but um, the old strap is more like a watch. So this is definitely like something different. Um, and uh, I just uh, took out the device and it's just going into like a rebooting mode. I don't know what's going on. It's just uh, vibrating and rebooting itself. So I, I guess I have to, I have to charge this first maybe. It's really weird. I hope this is not defective. Um, so I am gonna put this on the charger because it's it's going into a really weird rebooting mode. I don't know what's going on. Uh, really, really weird, guys. <laughs> I hope I don't have to return this one as well. Uh, that, that would be really disappointing. Let me take my wife's um, out and save what hers does. Wow. Uh, that would be a really high failure rate if if this device comes out dead. Uh, so this is my wife's. And again, mine, mine is still rebooting. It's crazy. Uh, so yeah, one is defective. Um, Hers looks like it's fine. I need to install an app um, to pair it, but this one is defective. Well, the defective rate is uh, 50%, uh, sadly. So obviously hers is fine. So I'm gonna charge both device and I'm probably gonna come back and update you guys on the status of this defective one later and tell you what the heck is going on with, with our failure rate. All right, guys, I, I am back. Um, so remember that little hiccup in the previous uh, video or previous section? So uh, the Fitbit just went turn on and turn off, turn on, and turn off repeatedly for probably a couple of minutes. I put both of those devices on the charger. And uh, the, the fact is uh, it actually reset itself. And uh, we just quickly set up the device is actually pretty useful like pretty useful and compared to the Ionic, everything's just a lot more smooth at this point on. Like the Ionic, um, I mean, look at the, f the fluid dynamics of the movements. Like if you go here, it's it's kind of fluid, but it's the re refresh rate is definitely not higher than, than this, okay? Like it just doesn't, score as, as fluidity as the sense. Also look at the size difference. The sense is definitely larger uh, in terms of screen estate, so it's easier to see. Um, this one, even though it's got a large screen, it's actually have a very small window of display. This one actually utilizes almost the entire face. So you've got more space, um, just quickly comparing. 
And the cool thing with this is you got a, what's called an EDA scan, which detects your stress level, which is kind of fun. And you also, the cool thing with Sense is um, you have, let me go back. So you have also the ECG, which takes about two minutes or less than two minutes. It actually detects if you have AFib or not very quickly, even though it's not as, you know, as precise as I would say dedicated the ECG machines from the hospital. If you never know you had AFib, this would help you detect you might have AFib and then you could go seek treatments. So quite useful as well. Of course, this one doesn't do anything. It just basically use a very basic heart rate sensor to track your heart rate. Look over here, all the sensors being upgraded, uh, pretty advanced, and it's got more electric contacts for ECG and managing and detecting your stress level using your sweat by covering your hand on the top and uh, covering the two sensor parts. So on the top and bottom, it's actually separate. Those are actually sensor contact points, okay? So it's pretty cool that this device is full of sensors everywhere. Um, but um, if you ask me, yes, thanks to Google Fitbit, um, they're able to give me a almost two brand new device for the price of one, okay? Um, I think they did good on their parts called doing the recall and providing their customer with a updated product. Now granted, we are not paid a dime by Google or Fitbit for seeing this, but the gesture that they're doing because of those limited instants of battery overheating um, is good, okay? At least for us consumers. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, hope you found this uh, follow-up video helpful. Uh, again, we got our sense uh, fairly quickly and it actually works. The, um, I would say the improvements are, are pretty significant compared to a device that's you know, three, four, maybe five years old. Um, this device came out last year. Don't know when the Fitbit Sense 2 is gonna come out, but for now the price is good, especially with the uh, the recall. Um, I would say um, if you need a Fitbit device, go for it. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, one year warranty. And again, if you use your credit card with purchase protection, um, you could extend that warranty further uh, to another year or two. So you have like one year to three years of warranty, depending on the method of purchase. Okay, if you guys have any questions, again, let us know in the comment section down below. I hope you found this video helpful uh, in helping you making a decision on whether you should um, get the refund, buy a new Fitbit, or maybe buy something else. Okay, all right, guys, thanks again. See you in the next video. Take care.